Hello everyone, Mike Money Gamer here, and welcome back to Let's Play Prison Architect. <laughs> Let's see, so it looks like the newest save is Build Visitor Room. Okay, uh, past Mike, thank you for that. I need to put the door mode back to normal for that. Um, let's see. Wait, do I have to set people up? I forgot to look this up, actually. Let's see. That's better. Oh yeah, and I have my prison closed because I don't have enough cells for everyone. Well, I mean, I have cells, but... Only 20. <laughs> 35 prisoners, 20 cells. Oh yeah, I was going to make these into cells. I still feel like that is too big of rooms. And just to warn you ahead of time, I will be actually clearing my throat a lot during this. So don't worry, I will be uh, muting it so you guys can't hear it. But yeah. <laughs> Since I'm doing that, I want to make sure that you guys can't hear it. Because <laughs> I know how freaking nasty as hell that can be. You hear someone go Bleh. like, you know, just like coughing or trying to clear the throat. I think everything looks fine here. Okay. 
So the reason why it's okay to put big pipes in the middle of the, the hallways, chances are if you have um, guards going around, they'll never will be able to like tunnel into it. So you should be okay. You will eventually need a bigger shower too, sadly. Actually, we got this place here we can use. Oh yeah, here's something funny you can do. So you can actually like sell your prison right now. And if you do, you can say, um, so yeah, like as it says here, like if I sold my prison right now the way in the way that it is in, I would um, end up with a hundred and twenty thousand dollars on my next site so yeah that's something cool that you can do if ever you wanted to start a new game and you wanted to do it in a way that's like you know better so Wait, you can put multiple prisoners in multiple cells? It claims that five people are put in the cell? I don't think I would want to do that. That sounds like, um, kind of sketchy, don't you think? <laughs> Just saying. I need to build a common room. I can put that on the outside of the canteen, I guess. Or I can put it right here next to the uh, office. Have them uh, be able to go through the yard to get through it. I mean, that might not be a bad idea. Alright, how long, how big does that have to be a common room? Just indoors. Okay. Well, let's see. We have 35 prisoners right now, so it probably needs to be pretty big. We we'll use brick foundation. Oh, but that kind of ruins the point of this um, window here. <laughs> if I built it there, oh. I guess this is the best place to put it, right here. And then we can put the entrance to it down here. There we go.
Anyway, let's see what's going on here. You know, I'm surprised no one's. Uh, okay, I know this is gonna jinx me, but I gotta say it. I'm actually kind of surprised that we haven't had anyone, you know, break out yet. I mean, some people that I have, um, like the person I've been watching lately, he's actually had. Oh, that's an office, isn't it? Who was I making this for? Wait, do I already have it marked as an office? Okay, yeah, it's a psychologist office. I just wanted to make sure. Oh, they're still working on it. How many workers do I have again? Twelve? And I'm making a thousand dollars? Oh, we can use a few more. I mean, I could probably have like 25 right now of both, but <laughs> to be on the safe side, I'm not. So apparently at this time, uh, like the uh, version of the prison architect game that I have now, they say that uh, prisoners will actually sit on the weight wrenches and use them now if they feel the desire to do so. So that's kind of a cool little thing. I wonder if my yard is too small. Is that guy's name McKenzie? That's awesome. Matt McKenzie, I like that. Aw, he has a wife and a daughter. That's so cute. They probably really want to see him. And what was his um, crime? For aggravated burglary. So he has an estimated reoffending chance of 53%. Wow. This is their experience. Nine hours in your prison. He was in lockdown at one point. He's in a pretty normal mood. That's good. Yeah, I need to really look that up next time, the next episode, to find out how you uh, start putting them into the schools and all that. Like, if you have to, like, schedule it as work. I think it said in here, I'm not really good at reading stuff like this, so it says, all reform programs can also, also take place during work time. Prisoners without a job and not currently assigned to reform program are free to roam around the prison. as a free time. We can take some time out of their sleeping. Let's see, how long do they sleep for right now? They go to bed at 11. 12, so let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They only sleep 7 hours a day. Oh, it's free time right now. Give them 1 hour of yard time and make them go to work after that. I don't know, that might piss, piss them off. In fact, I got them too much time to eat right now. So here, let's... Well... I don't know how long the actual, um... Oh, yeah, it's just actually... Oh, hello, it's finished. Okay, so now we can make our little common room. We'll 
give them wooden floor for that, because that would make them happier and make them feel more at home. Okay, so what all do I need to do to make this into a common room? Just indoors? That's it telling me that I filled, filled one of the things. So they want a pool table. Some TVs. What's funny about the TVs is they actually, I don't know if they still do this, but they used to like sit on it to watch it. <laughs> cool little thing. Put a couple TVs in there. What else does it want? At least five phone booths. What's going on? Aww, we had someone die. Oh, it's because he was excellent. If you ever find someone who's like an ex-cop or a snitch or something like that, what you need to do is you need to separate them from everybody else. And I don't know how you actually do that. One people have been killed. <laughs> Oh yeah, so I'm fine uh, phone this before that happened. Thank you, dick asses. Now I just gotta wait for them to finish all that stuff. Also mark all these as cells. I guess if you're gonna make it where two people share a cell, which is possible, I've, I've, you know, you hear about prisons doing that. I guess you'd have to put a second bed in here because I can't share a bed. Gross. Uh, okay, um, but I'd have to have moved the uh, toilet over a little bit. Or I could put the bed up there, against the wall up there. But then um, there'd be no way to... Oh, someone found a drill and a screwdriver. Where the hell did they find those? Did they steal them off of the um, <coughs> workers? Oh, wait, is it um, almost time for bed? Uh, Regimen... Yes, it is. So once I get everyone in the cells, I'll do a shakedown. Do a shakedown. Since we already found some stuff, I want to make sure we don't find anything else. Wow, they found scissors! Holy crap! Searching the bin itself. Pills. 
Yeah, the only thing that sucks about uh, shakedowns is that you search everybody, and some prisoners might get mad because, you know, they don't have anything. And so they feel like they are being, what's the word? Oh my god, poison? Is that what that, yeah, they found poison. That guy was probably going to off himself or something. That is terrifying. But yeah, they say the reason why doing shakedowns can be a bad thing is, although if you do find a lot of stuff, which is good, if you don't find something on somebody and they um, get mad about it, um, they can start a riot because of it. And that's why they say you might want to wait till um, nighttime. So that way, um, you know, you don't end up having, um, like, you want to do it before, before they go to sleep, because that way they go to sleep and just sleep off the anger of being mis, like, you know, missearched or whatever for no reason. Because, <laughs> I mean, like, you know, Okay, let's put it in this perspective. I think I've talked about this before, but I want to talk about it again. So you go to, like, the airport, right? And, like, they, let's say they wave you uh, to the side to do a personal search because they think that you look, for example, like, I'm not saying you do, but, like, let's say you look sketchy. You'd be pissed off. You'd be like, excuse me, um, I have done nothing wrong. Why are you taking me out of everybody else? You know? <laughs> but... Like, especially like, if you had nothing on you. But I mean, like, let's say you accidentally brought a pocket knife and you got taken to the side and they found it. You uh, would feel, <clears throat> you know, you'd feel a little upset, like you'd be a little embarrassed, but you'd be happy that they at least, um, what's the word, that they at least um, took it seriously instead of just being like, ah, go on through, you know? Because what if someone, like, carried a gun in there one time? Like, I think that's what happened one time. Like, someone carries a gun in, and it's like, they go through the uh, metal detector, and it goes off, and they're like, eh, you're fine, whatever. It's probably just, uh, like, and like say they just say, oh, it's a metal disc that I have in my, like, leg or something like that, and they get away with it. Yeah, that, that wouldn't be right. You'd be kind of pissed about that, <laughs> you know? All right, so the shakedown was done. We found... Wow, a bunch of stuff, surprisingly. Dang. Alright. What was I going to build? I was going to actually build the visitation room, right? I'm going to find it, though. There it is, visitation. Indoors and visitor table, so it doesn't matter how big it is. I think we'll just put it right here. Wait, actually, hold on, I gotta attach it to the prison slightly, because if I don't, then it can be dangerous them getting there. Let's see. I want to put it right here, though. Is there a way to, like, dis demolish this, uh, window? Yeah. Dismantle the window, because, like, since they're asleep, they won't escape while I do this. And I can just put a wall in its place. Like if they had to take it down the entire wall to do it. Well, these guys might be able to escape while it's doing that. Oh, by the way, the copy tool, just to kind of give you an idea of how it works, it copies not only, um, like, the room itself, like, if I copy this jail door to here, to here, to here, it's going to copy this entire wall here, and then everything inside of it as well. What is this doctor doing? Oh, well. Okay, so he's dismantling that window. Okay, so yeah, all it does is take away the window. Good. What, you're just gonna leave that shit there? Asshole. You can't do that. You gotta pick it up. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh! Good, good. That means I can look up that one stuff. So, I will be right back, everyone. When I come back, we will take care of the... Um... 
That was the weirdest thing ever. We will take care of everything that we need to take care of. And um, figure out how to and start putting people into the um, education thing so we can get rid of that stupid thing that we accidentally clicked on.